Hey Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome to Space Based Tartopia. Got an email from uh, Calypso and they asked me to check out this game and you know what? It looked cool enough and interesting enough to give it a whirl. Um, I would kind of like, honestly, weirdly enough, I would kind of describe this as like the portal of Starbase management games. It has a lot of charm to it. Now it's quite, not quite as polished as Portal. I think the game only just got released so this there's probably going to be a couple of bugs and all that sort of jazz but my god does this game have charm oozing from every orifice of every alien in the space station. Let's go ahead and just uh, start a brand new campaign. We'll play it on Commander and jump right in and we get greeted with a lovely intro movie. When the Tolgorian fleet first encountered a representative of the New Acidic Alliance, they sent a bouquet of their most beautiful native flowers as their usual greeting. The only problem, the extremely nature-loving dryads took a bouquet of dead flowers as a declaration of war. This encounter marked the beginning of the first major interspecies conflict in the Alma Barrett Quadrant. It lasted for approximately 400 years. Since most of the races did not have access to FTL technology at that time and their weapons technology can generally be regarded as primitive, the armed conflict was often limited to threats, verbal attacks and illegal littering. The production of the Universal Translator developed by the RSS Consortium helped to settle the conflict and led to peace talks being initiated. Also additional potential grounds for conflict, such as Eurythyr's Great Dolphin Barbecue. The Celebramer's gigantic space loudspeakers and other trivialities could also be nipped in the bud. So much for history, recruit. Let's get back to your real job here at the RSS Consortium's Clear Test Lab. This lab is not only designed to house a highly sophisticated artificial intelligence called Val, which would be me, in case you've forgotten that in the last few minutes, as my brain scan suggests, but is also responsible for the Startopia project. The goal of Startopia is to create multipurpose space bases capable of being used by all alien species as places of encounter and exchange. And, of course, to earn a huge amount of energy to cover the exorbitant salaries of the RSS board. Recruit, you have been selected to work in the Startopia Bay Simulator, or SBS for short, to acquire the knowledge necessary to run such a Startopia base. But before you can do so, you must go through the RSS Executive Motivation Training Course. You can do it. You're a born leader. We believe in you. Fanfares, congratulations. You have successfully completed the Commander Training Course and are now entitled to take the final exam on the simulator. Good luck, Commander. And I hope you can see what I mean about the game having a lot of charm. But we're not going to worry about too much. We're going to go ahead and just get started. And this is the game view. We are on a space base. And what I really, really like about this is just kind of how weird the, <laughs> the camera work is. Like it's, it's kind of has a charm to it. Like everything is kind of woo and wobbly. I can imagine I, I may get like a little bit of motion sickness if I play around with that too much. But I think, I think my goal here is to actually build a few buildings. Now the first thing we want to build is of course, naturally, the recycling station that the mission requires. And I'll just pop, pop that down right there now i think in order to actually staff this with uh little meeples we need to build a berth and we can always use blueprints if we want we could use this giant one but let, let's try to build one let's try to build one from scratch let's make an absolutely gargantuanly huge berth like this big and we'll pop some doors down like uh, i guess a door right here a door right here uh, you know what we'll put a door on every side now, they do want some uh, stasis chambers, I think, because that's where people sleep. Uh, the game is also throwing shade at me, which I appreciate. I'm a person who deserves a bit of shade thrown at them from time to time. So we'll put in some stasis chambers, some hydro cleans. I think these are where people can shower. Two hydro cleans. I don't know if these things like need much space, but we also need a place where people can get drinks. So here's some slushy machines and then some of these. Oh, not there. Can I delete you? How do I... Uh... There we go. So we got three of each. Wait, can I get another... 
Uh, maybe I have too many stasis chambers, actually. Hang on. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what a good build looks like, so I'm just kind of throwing things in randomly. But we've got three of everything now, so let's confirm this room. And the game is prompting me to get a few Telgor. So I think I need to, like, look through this. These are... These are Telgors, these kind of nosy dudes. So if I go over here, I'll just like hire a couple of them. So I'll hire you and you and you and you. I think four is enough to run this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then let's hire some of the Bugrathorians. I'll just hire four of those. I don't know how many I actually need, but I'm pretty sure this thing basically kind of like handles itself and people go around, they get their needs met. Um, actually, I could probably have packed things in a little bit better had I designed this a little bit better. But look, people are people are going around. They're doing their things. Now, I happen to know that people, they generate garbage. That's right, garbage everywhere. And I think part of my job is to pick up this garbage. Um, at least my fuzzies will do that. They're like my little robots, but I can pick up that garbage. And then I feed it in to the, um, to the recycler. If I open up the recycler, I mean, you can see the volume here as I'm feeding in garbage. The, uh, the amount of volume here goes up and then it's actually recycling and generating me income. I've got some construction fuzzies over here. Let's, let's go ahead and, and, and get some get some garbage bots. Is a garbage bot, this thing right here. I'll put one, I guess, on each side of this berth thing. So I guess I, I'm, I'm guessing this is where the most trash will appear is near the doors. And then that's where these guys can fill them up. And then I think this garbage bot itself will then make its way over to the recycling station and generate me income because we're, we're basically building a pleasure palace. And my goal is to earn 4,000 energy through the recycler. And the really cool thing is if I click on this, you can actually open bulkheads and expand your, your space station, which is really, really cool. You can see you could actually have a space station that circles all the way around this thing. And I think you can also buy layers. There's like a way to go up and down. I think I'm on the bottom layer and each layer, there's like an up and down to it to go up through the floor or whatever. Although that part, genuinely haven't figured it out yet. Fanatics from the terrorist organization Trash Beast have discovered a subatomic quantum loophole in our shield and have beamed garbage bombs on board. If they explode, they will cause damage and spread garbage throughout the area. So like she said, this is a garbage bomb. Now I can let this bomb just go off or I can pick it up take it into my inventory and then drop it off in the recycler and it'll fill up the recycler with a bit of volume and generate me a bit of cash. Of all other candidates came up with this solution. I suggest you try recycling a larger amount of these garbage bombs in order to make the test scenario more exciting. We got garbage bot modification. Oh, okay. Oh, this is like a random event. This is really, really cool. So we can have garbage bot. Garbage bots will eat 50% of the garbage deposited them, which is equivalent to recycling, but they have a 5% chance of exploding and scattering garbage upon reaching capacity. Or the experimental garbage bot, which has 100% uh, capacity and a 33% chance of moving 10% faster for 30 seconds upon reaching capacity. I like the idea of exploding garbage bots. Absolutely nothing could go wrong with exploding garbage. <laughs> Do I not have enough of these lads, or is there just not enough work for them? Let's let's hire a couple more. Does that fill this up with more workplaces? Oh, apparently not. I guess I'm just not fully sure how this game works. I have literally only a couple hours in this game. Now, one thing we are gonna have to worry about is our atmosphere quality. We are producing a lot of non-oxygen. So we'll have to slap down some oxygen emitters. More garbage bombs have been smuggled onto Startopia. Of course, the timing on the garbage bombs. Okay, get me off this window. All right, boom, garbage bomb. Oh, we got another garbage bomb. Now I could, in theory, save up all these garbage bombs and let them explode everywhere. You know what? Let's find somewhere safe and out of the way where we can let these garbage bombs go off and not cause too many issues. But yeah, people people are going to start demanding demanding oxygen now, which means we want to find the places where the atmosphere is the worst. I just throw down a few atmospheric filters, like how about right there? Maybe we'll pop another one over here. I think that should more or less cover this whole area. So these garbage bombs are about to go off. Now everyone inside of it are going to have a bad day. Maybe next time you should collect and dispose of them instead of watching them explode. 
but I like watching them explode. You can't talk shade to me, GLaDOS, or whatever you are. There's like, I think they have like a scuffed version. Oh, what is this? Oh! Oh, these are special, cr oh, these are gift crates. I didn't have to build those garbage bots. I didn't even know they were there. <laughs> Rapid recycling station. Commander, it is much of you busy building your garbage empire. Thought nobody got time to upgrade the recycling centers. So I could get no more atmospheric pollution from the recycler. But a 25% that no energy will be produced. Or it recycles faster Commander. and it has a better chance of producing more bad atmosphere. You know what? I'll take the bad atmosphere. We're going hardcore here. So the time frame is completely unacceptable. I, I, I feel a little bit unsure about how I feel being bullied by a robot. Although I should be used to that by now, considering how many times it's happened in games. But yeah, now we got the oxygen in here looking pretty well. What's your complaint? Let me have a look at you. So he's hungry. He needs a shower. He's quite social, thirsty. Oh, bombs! Isn't that interesting? I don't like these bombs. All right, let's let's recycle these bombs. It is part of our mission to do that. Leaky visitors. So we want weak bladdered Bulgorians. So they have a five percent of tr creating garbage every sixty seconds, but they no longer need hygiene. Or ah, uh, you know what? I like the the Bugrathorians. They'll make the garbage. And maybe keep them up ready, just in case. Let's get a nice charging station for our fuzzies. That'll be where they'll be able to repower themselves. And I think more or less I have everything else. Although a communication center might be handy to have. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to get it. Commander, you have now acquired two thirds of the necessary energy. Extrapolating from your previous results, I can safely put my subprocessors on standby for the next few million cycles. Oh, we could place rugs and stuff. Ah, so I could put like a ton of rugs along here and maybe that would like improve the mood of people. Is that how that works? Let's hire a couple more bug boys to uh, to run the uh, the communication center. I don't know if I'm spending my money on good things. Listen, <laughs> I just am. Can I get more fuzzy bots? Is that a thing? Oh, yes, I can. Now they're 5,000 each, but you know what? I'll buy at least one of those. Because these fuzzies are dead handy. Now, the cool thing is you can actually pick them up. Oh, God. Garbage bombs. Give me those. Yoink. And yoink. I don't know. This game just has, like, a lot of charm that I would say that, like, older management games kind of had themselves. You're feeling a slight mix of endorphins and cortisol right now, which should feel approximately the same as a tiny handshake. So we can get regular garbage, needs twice the space in the re uh, recycling station, or 50% chance of reducing energy, or everything other than garbage generates 100% additional energy, and everything outside is 20% reducing. Ooh. Some doubted your success, while others objected that you could not... You know what? Interdimensional disposal site is exactly what I like. In this scenario, you will find it. Nevertheless, you have successfully completed this scenario. Oh, oh we did it! I didn't realize that we were going to be done so quick. <laughs> But that's a nice little introduction. Let's do another mission, right? That was fun. I, I really, I don't know, this game just has so much charm. And, and, and that's what kind of made me want to play it for you guys. All right, so we have some new rooms and life forms. We have access to the gray, that's for the medical station. We have the dryad for the bio deck. We have the cargo hold. We have the factory and the medical station. We also have disease control, pharmacist and viral vegetation. All right, let's get ready. Protocol. Welcome to the second test scenario, Command R. As mentioned at the beginning, you now have access to the bio deck to grow plants and create a cozy atmosphere for your visitors. In this scenario, you can expect more sick aliens on board, where a lack of treatment can result in a premature death. Command R, commence operations. Commander, you did acceptable work with the bombs in the last test scenario. RFS feels that such trivialities must be rewarded with more than just a virtual damp handshake, so a recycling station crate is hereby placed at your disposal. Pop that down there and we will unpack it right Commander, here. 
mental ability. But as a precaution, I would like to point out to you the extremely banal logic that employing more dryads would ensure that you get the resources you need more quickly, as they sow new plants and harvest mature ones. Let's make a let's make a really really big birth here. So we'll just go whoop, make it all the way across. Boom, giant birth, and we'll have doors. In convenient corners. So now they should be able to get around here pretty easily. Put in a bunch of stasis chambers along here. Some showers through the center. I'll put in another shower here and then another couple of stasis chambers and then we'll pepper around with some food. We'll also pepper around with a bit of um, drinkage. Some more food. I don't know if this is well designed, all right? It's just, it's just full of things. Maybe I spent too much on this, but hey, we have a giant berth and it should be built by our construction fuzzies. Um, oh, you know what we need? We need garbage, garbage disposal. So I know I'll need a couple of these air pumps near the... Um, Near the recycler. So I might just try to fill out the corners with these. Try to give me a better chance of uh, of dealing with that. And then we'll have a, a garbage bot over here. We'll put another garbage bot right there. And that should handle that. Now, they also want me to heal sick aliens. So it might be a good idea to go in here and open this bulkhead. So that we have a bit more room along the station. Are so inflexible. Apparently we have an upstairs. I don't know how to actually go to the next floor, but now we have even more room. Like we could just we could just do more. So let's let's open up. And uh, I guess we'll start a medical station. I'm gonna just take the the mid-sized medical station. and put it right there. So that's the mid-sized medical station. I don't know how they work, so I'm gonna just follow <laughs> follow the blueprint. Um, I am gonna need to start hiring some people, so let's let's do that now, because uh, let's hire like four dryads. Those hired dryads will hopefully reduce the duration of this scenario to an acceptable level. I think we can chalk that up as good work. Comment good work to started. Quote. And then I don't know actually how to, um, I don't know actually how to produce plants. They want me to produce food. Oh, I need to go to the bio deck. All right, how do I go to the bio deck? I have a bio deck. I just don't know how to get up there and look at it. Like it's up, it's up there somewhere. I know it's up through the uh, the elevator. Maybe if I follow this dryad, does it take me up? Among other things, the bio deck is displayed. Please make your way there. Come on, it's time to upgrade the bio deck. So, tons of pesticides, infection, negative rating in the bio deck every. Ah, let's just go with tons of pesticides. Oh, here's the bio deck. Ah, all right. All right, cool. So I don't know what I can actually do in the bio deck. I assume does it just kind of do its own thing? <gasps> Oh, I pick up things, right? Uh, do I pick things up here? Provides minerals when harvested. I don't even know what to do with these because there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. I can put them back down. I can only build a tube lift up here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a bio station. Ah, oh, that must be where they ha harvest things. Oh, I think this section of the uh, of the station just kind of handles itself, actually. Commander, your doctors have just successfully treated the first visitor. I think that is acceptable. So this is the sub deck. Got it. 
This is where the subs and dubs take place. We got good oxygen. We got a nice berth looking after people. We got a medical station. Maybe it would be good to build something else. Oh, you know what would be good? What if I just hired a bunch of these dryads? I just let them like grow all the stuff I need. Yeah, let's just hire all the dryads. So how do I store food resources? I assume I will need a cargo hold. Ah, I build a cargo hold against the side of the station. All right, cool. So then I think I should be able to store food there. Like this. Obviously, obviously not like that, because it has to be built first, but somewhat like that. Commander, you have successfully installed a cargo hold. Your trusty fuzzies can now store materials there. I congratulate you on accomplishing this mundane task. Oh, cool! It picks it up and puts it in the rack! Oh, that is so cool! So I need to store a bunch of food. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, I'm starting to get the hang of things. I got a healing station. Alright, let's build a factory. Where can this factory fit? Pretty... Could fit it nice and comfortably right there. I gotta be careful though, because my money is uh, my money is pretty low. <laughs> well, it's energy. <gasps> He's putting more food in. I love the animation on this, by the way. The way it like picks up the food, it brings it up, and then just pop pops it in the storage thing. So I need to build circuit boards. Oh, atmospheric generation. Increase in anger and aliens is half. Five percent chance of deactivating, or. Uh, let's do hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic mist. So they have a chance of deactivating. Oh, that's right. I could use those bombs to make people sick and then heal them in the med bay to get credit. Ah. Anyway, how do I make circuit boards in here? Let's see. So circuit boards require minerals. And then I assume minerals are produced up here on the bio deck. And each of these little station things are producing things like food. Can I pick these up and like drop them in? How do I how do I make these make these go? I want them to be produced. I have a ton of I have a ton of dudes living up here and working up here, like the plant people. But I don't know how to make them do the stuff that I want. They're kind of just doing their own thing. Oh, what's this? You picked something up? What is it? It looks like it might be minerals or something, or some kind of score points. Obviously, all those years of training have paid off by enabling you to perform such a trivial task. <gasps> yes, we have minerals, so that means we could use the factory. Um, we could use the factory to produce circuit boards. Now I need five of those, so we'll have that set up. Oh, that's so cool. We can produce slushy, antibiotic sprays, mirror balls, food, sushi, two food resources. All right. This game. Okay, this game has so much to it. I thought I'd only played like a, a little bit around with it. I didn't realize there was all this sort of stuff. Something wrong with the cargo hold. So for every empty slot, we get 10 energy every 60 seconds. Or, oh man, that's, oh, that's a rough one. I think right now, the valuable vacancies is worth more energy. So the more empty these things are, the more money we get. So if I just throw down another cargo hold, we'll make more money, which, I mean, that's fine by me. But maybe I should move this. <gasps> Did I delete it? Oh, it's in a crate. Okay, okay. I didn't actually delete it. I just I just moved it. All right. So let's put this factory over here. Commander, your station ratings are splendid. I'm going to move the cargo bay over here. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Oh, if I hold down Alt, I can see everyone's names. Oh, this is turned off. I need to I need to turn it back on. Oh, that's... I made a mistake choosing that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I need more fuzzies. Hang on. 
Oh, I can't get what I need here. Oxygen bomb, UV. Ooh, growth spurt for plants. Yes, give me some of those UV bombs. Let's go up to the plant deck and set those off. Vigorous plant growth. So what, can I like produce fuzzies in this factory? Is that an option? <gasps> you can create fuzzies in here and you can create Mark II fuzzies. Oh, I need to research it. Ah, I can also produce things like tube lifts. Okay, so this is like a way to get things that I might want for cheaper. Oh, I can produce my blueprints in here. I don't have access to the fun deck yet. So we'll, we'll have to play around with that. I think this room, yeah, this room seems to be generating me income. So I think visitors like come to the station and then use this. And then uh, that generates me. A little bit of cash. Very cool. All right, so that's where my passive income comes from. My passive income comes from Burt's. You've got like some kind of inspiration here. Oh, low power. I forgot to build a fuzzy station. Ah, oh God. Um, da -da, da -da -da -da. Fuzzy charge station right near the elevator. I'd like to inform you that you've already successfully treated one third of the aliens required. Oh, hey. You've treated a bunch of aliens. Medical station structural renovation. 10% chance of diagnosing a disease immediately, but it takes three times as long. Or healed aliens have a 5% chance to immediately hand over all their energy. It's halved for 60 seconds. Ooh, yeah, give me, give me all your money. Commander, I can't say I approve of this choice, but it is your funeral. So it looks like people come to the station with a bunch of energy from this thing. This is the airlock. And yeah, so people come here with their money. They visit my station and then they spend it on services like the birth. Cool. I feel like we're getting, I feel like we're starting to understand this game now a little bit better. This is like a bunch of oxen. Hang on, can I pick these up? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run my hand over here. Gonna help out my fuzzies because they are not picking this stuff up fast enough. Half the aliens that require treatment. An acceptable feat if one ignores the time it took you to perform it. Let's put some minerals into storage. We'll put our medicines into storage. What's this? UV grenade. All right. Put our oxygen in here as well. We got some fibers. We got contraband. We got some trash. Let's let's help our fuzzies out. I like that this game. Has like a um sort of god game mechanic where you're actually actively helping manage the station. And it's not just passive. I think a lot of games where they force you to be passive, you end up like just kind of sitting around looking at your dudes, uh, just doing things wrong. Where I like that I can, you know, actively manage my people and be like, hey, go here, do that. Or I can be like, hey, you're not doing it quick enough. I'm going to do it. Is there no oxygen over here? Oh, the factory. The factory screws with oxygen. Oh, dear. Um... All right, let's get a oxygen generator there and then we'll put another one right there. Ooh, antibiotic spray. Oh, my factory has an event. Let's see here. Uh, factory acquired material costs are halved. 5% will suffer a breakdown whenever it goes. Or a 50% chance to really have uh, a 5% chance of getting sick. Ugh. You know what? I'll take the breakdown. I like that every choice has a downside. That's something I like as well. And I gotta, I, like, I also like that they can... I like that they, um, they give you the choice to, um, 
you know, have an actively managed factory where you've got to do a ton of things, or you can have like a more passive factory. And right now I've went the active way and it's a lot of fun where you're just like picking up goods and you're moving stuff around. I mean you, in case you missed that little dig the way you missed all the digs before. Now I have to hope that my services aren't getting overwhelmed. Do I need any more stuff? Let's have a look. Um, how, how are people rating my station? Oh dear! Garbage crates. Oh, there's another one here. Give me that. All right, we're gonna. Oh wait. I could I could make people get sick. No 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 no. Be good. I wanna I wanna make money. <laughs> I wanna be the good guy. I wanna be the good guy in this scenario. But yeah, that's really really cool. Can I can I like just keep hiring, like more and more of these dry ants? Oh, I can promote people. So if I promote them, their skill level goes up. A very ill alien with a severe form of leucoiodis has arrived at the station. You should ensure that this visitor is treated quickly as the disease is highly contagious. Where is this where is this visitor who's especially sick? You. Can I pick you up? I wish to pick you up. Where are you going? He has like a rare disease. Oh, he's going to get medical attention. Okay, so he's on his way. All right, great stuff. But yeah, I want to I wanna see. Can I just like hire a ton of these Dryad memers? And then... Um, like, do I just get more money then? And I just, every now and again, I go to the top floor? You have now hired more than 20 Dryad. I would encourage you to consult the universal database for the terms, quality, and quantity. Yeah, I'm just gonna hire a ton of dryads. I'll build some more berths. Like if I go to uh construction menu. Alright, he's heading in there to get to get healed. Commander, you actually managed to heal your critically ill visitor. Okay, Let's build a giant berth. We're lots of ways in and out. Put some stasis chambers on this side. Wash stations here. People can have a nice sleep. Okay, maybe maybe I overdid it. Hang on, let me uh delete a little bit of this. Put a food. And a water here. And then another water there. And then another two waters over here. And then if I can cram a food in here just somewhere. Alright, that'll, that'll be good enough. But we got another berth. This will take care of people's needs. I'm gonna start to fill this up. Can I go can I go check out this this area over here? We got stuff to pick up. Got O2. Let's have a look. What do we got? Actually, very little is up here now, which is interesting. But we're building up a nice berth here, and I'm hope, hoping that people will essentially come in from the airlock, head over here, and start using all these services. Because this is a moneymaker right here. This thing is printing cash for me. I think the big thing, though, is I definitely need more fuzzies. I don't, I don't have enough fuzzies. I've got the circuits I need. I need more food. Otherwise, I'm more or less done with this mission. But I'm very curious about this game. I think I might actually do a live stream of me playing this game or something because it just has so much charm and it, it, it reminds me of games I played as a kid, like Starbase games and management games and it kind of like black and white, right? You're like this godlike figure trying to make everything fit, but nothing fits perfectly because everything's a different size, so there's no real efficient way to do things. And you're like trying to deal with crises, you know, there's garbage appearing or, or stuff like that. I like that the game gives you sort of that god view of, of the um, of the station where you're the most powerful being here and you can do everything you need. Um, but you're obviously wanting to use your little dudes to do it for you. I'm curious. I want to. I want to expand my bulkheads up here. I want to go look into some of these other biomes. 
All right, let's let's have a look. What's in this biome? Uh, which way is this way? Yeah, let's buy this one. Can I open this? Open bulkhead. Boom. Oh, look at that. Now that's satisfying. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that I can see all the other biomes through this. I don't know if I can actually change this, but I do know now that people should run around in here and start generating me more, more cash. Can't open that bulkhead. I can open this one, which is neat. Commander, unattended crates of garbage are in danger of exploding. Oh dear. Garbage. Where is it? There's one crate of garbage. There should be more. There's another one. Yoink. Just pop those in the recycler. But I like that this game is very hectic, right? There's a lot going on. And so if you're not paying enough attention, you're going to find yourself in a bit of trouble. Can I store garbage in here? Does that, does that do that? Or does that just become annoying for my people? I think that just becomes annoying for my people. What are you looking at? How's your workload? You're only at 17% workload. I'm hoping that that's a good thing, that you're not being overworked. Both of these are at pretty low workloads, which means I don't think they're being fully utilized. What's up with you? What's happy? So you need a promotion. Oh, let's uh, let's go through. Who can I promote? I want to look at all my employees. Who's promotable? Promote them all. Get promoted. Oh, another sick alien. Maybe it would be good to open this bulkhead here and uh, put a medical station. I don't think I can build airlocks, but I definitely, I pr should probably, should probably put in another, um, another elevator right there. Can I, can I scooch in another cargo hold? Oh, I can. Yes. And then maybe a garbage bot. A pair of garbage bots. This boy is very, very sick. Oh, it's actually a, uh, a dryad. Now, they're pretty angry, but they are coming over here to get better. This kind of has a feeling of like when you're playing those hospital games, when like a really sick person comes in and you got to help them. Okay, plants are destroyed when the commander harvests them. So how do I how do I harvest them? Is there like a grenade or something I can use to harvest them? We've got a new offer in here in a sec. Hang on. Airlock. Oh, I could get another airlock. Ah, so I need to be checking this regularly. So if I head up to the the, the bio deck. Oh, I can I can manually harvest plants by right clicking on them. I see. That makes sense now. Oh, I can change how the auto harvesting works. Oh, this game has like way more depth to it than I ever thought. When I when I initially looked at it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a fun little uh, you know starbase game. Nope, there's a lot going on here. But I think that's it. We finished the mission, and I'm going to call that it. If you guys want to see me do more videos like this, let me know. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!